Hi everybody, I'm Stefan for CGTestPlus.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a nice perspective shift in Cinema 4D. So let's get started. For this tutorial I'm going to use one of the preset street layouts from the Metropolitan pack from VideoCopilot.net. So let's take all of our elements and hit OG to layer them into a single layer and let's name this one city and let's zoom and choose a place to zoom the camera so oops right here because we have a building in the background and basically uh, this works for every 3D package I'm just going to use Cinema 4D to show you how to do it. So first of all, let's go to MoGraph and let's create a text. And as you can see, our text is pretty big now. So we need to size it down to around like 10 or maybe 2. And let's change the depth to 2 as well. And let's center it and now let's rotate the text 90 degrees as you can see this is our text let's move the camera a bit and let's change it to something else like CG that's plus and let's change the font to the original CG that plus font which is this one or maybe this one let's use the bot version so this is our text let's add some caps here like point one and point one and let's constrain it and point zero zero one because our scale of the text is pretty small now so let's copy and paste this okay now let's create a new camera and let's turn it on and let's create a new circle and let's just size it down because it's way too big let's size it to 20 and we are not going to create a new object so let's create a tag I want to point tag to our camera as well as a target tag and let's switch off the camera and let's take our circle and position it let's go to the top view let's position the circle in the middle of our text we just eyeball it here because it's not so important and let's take the align to spline tag and drop this point here and let's take the target tag and drop the target object here so if we turn on our camera it's going to look like so we need to set this to 75% oops or maybe 50 and we need to take our circle and move it a bit up here like 3.5 or maybe 3 and the basic idea is uh, to recreate the effect uh, where the background comes towards the camera but the object stays in the same place so this is uh, pretty interesting and cool looking effect and pretty simple to understand and to recreate what actually happens is the camera move backwards so we are going to increase the radius of our circle to make the camera move backwards and it goes further away from the text but in the same time we are zooming our lens and as you can see we have the background coming closer to us because the longer the lens it shrinks 
the perspective and the wider the lens it expands the perspective as you can see here so let's set this to 35 let's go to our circle and let's set the radius to 20 and let's play with the tag a bit like so and let's set this to 10 or 15 and set this to 2.5 or 2.2 and now let's animate it so our circle right now has a radius of 15 let's set a keyframe for the radius let's move to the end of the timeline and set this to 30 and let's set a keyframe and as you can see this is how it looks like and let's go to the first frame again select our camera and set a keyframe for the focal length of our camera and go to the end and just double it so let's set this to 70 and let's set a keyframe and as you can see we created the illusion that our text stays in the middle and uh, doesn't move and just the background shrinks so we can make this even more dramatic let's make this one 105 and set the keyframe and if we don't animate uh, the circle we are going to get slightly different result with a bit of movement of our text so let's go to the end of the timeline and let's set this to 45 as well and you can see how it looks like and let's go to the render settings and let's set this to 16 by 9 and let's increase the resolution also we need to turn on some anti-aliasing here and if we do a render now you can see how our scene looks like it's pretty dull looking so we need to add some whites here and to do that let's go and create a infinite white and let's give it a warm like a sun color and let's turn off the camera for now and here is our sun white and uh, basically what affects the infinite white in cinema 40 is only the rotation the position is no, not important at all so uh, if we try to do something like this and probably turn on the shadow maps here and if we do another render you can see how it looks like and probably we can go to the shadow and just decrease the density of the shadows uh, to get a smoother look here and probably we can go to the render settings and if we enable the global illumination and probably increase the diffuse depth to 2 so we have two white bounces in our scene and if we do another render you can see how this affects the scene and uh, gives it a more nice and natural look and probably we need to add a sky object with a HDR to white our scene so this is going to finish just now and we are going to see how it's going to look like and probably we are going to apply some textures on our text to make it look even better you can see how the scene looks like with global illumination and let's add a sky object here and let's go to the content browser let's go to prime and let's open the materials and open the HDRI and I'm going to use the see maybe this one here so I'm going to drop it here in my scene and go to the object and let's just drop this onto my sky object and probably make it um, let's see compositing tag and I don't want to see it and for our text 
let's go to some quick materials like the video copilot pro shaders and let's choose the meta one and let's go the let's pick the gold scratched material and let's put it on our text and let's change the projection to cubic and let's see let's create some tiles here just to get some details because our text is pretty low uh, size so let's make it like so and probably we can increase the for the fillet caps like that and if we do another render here and just and let's just render it to the picture viewer you can see how our render looks like and probably we need to move our sun white here let's just rotate it a bit and uh, we can do another render to see how it's going to look like that's how our scene looks like as you can see we have a pretty big difference here and you can play with the whites and stuff like that and basically this tutorial is not about the look of the scene but uh, to show you this effect and to understand it so basically you have camera the camera moving back and zooming at the same time and basically that's the effect you can create uh, the reversed effect you can uh, move the camera forward and with a zoomed lens and while doing that uh, you can just zoom out the lens to create the effect that the background goes back and uh, it depends of what you're working on in your project but basically that's the idea so hope you like this tutorial and find it useful and uh, we will use creatively this concept here so once again I'm Stefan for cgtusplus.com and we'll see you next time